Good day guys, how are you all? Have you ever wondered what's inside the C7 truck? How does it work? How do we maintain it? Let's dive in. So we have the two risers, we have the bolt and nuts, and that's what's inside. So I'm going to separate the hanger from the arm and the base. We're not going to touch on the wheels today, we'll keep that for another video. And for you guys out there on a budget, I'm just going to use a regular wrench number 14. So this is the spring bolt that controls the spring. Turning it clockwise makes your truck tighter. Very tight. Turning it anti-clockwise loosens it. Now it's completely loose. spring bolt we first need to take out that c-clip this is what prevents your spring bolt from falling out if it has ever become too loose so let's take it out So there we go, that's the arm. We have the top thruster and it's three washers. We have the bottom thruster and it's two washers. We have the pivot bolt and it's lock nut. Here we have the spring bolt, the C-clip, the spring, the spring nut, and that's the link. So I'll wipe them real quick with uh, regular toilet paper and then I'll deep clean them with acetone. But if ever you're using acetone, make sure your room is well ventilated. All right, now that we're done cleaning, it's time to grease it back and put it all together. So one thing to never use is the WD-40 on any part of your skateboard it will eventually dry out and make your skateboard worse so now we'll grease the base but first let's put that here the spring the link and the spring bolt so when you will apply grease make sure that it doesn't go beyond that point because if the grease reaches the head of the bolt, even if you tighten it, it will loosen very easily. So make sure the grease covers the whole surface of the spring to prevent rust. Alright, so now we'll put the link. The spring bolt. and the C-clip.
this bolt and nut right here does not adjust the tension in your truck. It only holds the arm and the base together. But how tight should it be? So one general rule of thumb is push it down. If it moves, as you can see, it's too loose. So tighten it. Now, if it doesn't pivot freely sideways, it's too tight. So now adjust a little bit. Just enough that it doesn't move vertically and that it pivots freely. So one thing that I like to do is to put some bone speed cream on the thrusters just to make sure that it moves freely. We could have done that before putting all these things together. All right, we're done. Time to put it on the board. All right, guys, we are done. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content.